Hi everyone. My name is Aditya Swaminathan and today I'm going to read you a story that I wrote called Pranav the Pattern Detective. Illustrated by the fantastic Gemma Jos. Now this book is available for free on the Story Weaver website. So you can hop onto the website and read it there along with me or watch this video now and then read it on your own later. Now it is a detective story so you have to wear your detective hats and hop in for the ride. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Pranav the Pattern Detective. You climb the tree. It's your turn, says Arjun. Pranav looks up at the tree and says, "Okay, I will go." "Can you see the ball?" Mansa shouts from below. But something else catches Pranav's eye. "Look, it's a beehive!" Pranav cries. Mansa looks worried. "What about all the bees?" "Don't worry, it's empty," says Pranav peering at it. There are so many holes and they are all the same shape. Why did the bees choose this shape? Why not a circle? Pranav wonders. He imagines the hive in circles. That would not work. Bees are very clever, Pranav tells his friends the next day. He has been reading all about them. They have discovered the best shape for their home. Hexagons come together with no holes or gaps, just like a jigsaw puzzle. Their maths teacher, Mr. Das, overhears them. The six sides of the hexagon provide more room for the bees, he adds. Where did they learn how to do that? asks Pranav. Mr. Das says with a smile, patterns are everywhere. At the market the next day, Pranav looks carefully at the fruits and vegetables. He looks at the pineapples, ridge gourds, and the insides of oranges. So many sizes, colors, shapes, but Pranav can see the patterns. Are patterns really everywhere? He wonders. Pranav becomes a pattern detective. There are so many things in nature that are created using repeating patterns, Pranav tells his class the next day. We use repeating patterns in our man-made world as well, says Mr. Das. Why don't you try to create something using a pattern? This could be your homework. What shape shall we use to make the pattern, Pranav asks. Mr. Das writes the answers on the blackboard. Use any shape you want. At home, Pranav thinks about his homework. He imagines making his own hive, perhaps with squares or triangles. He thinks about what Mr. Das said. Patterns are everywhere. Then he starts seeing the patterns. Carpet, bookshelf, windows, patterns everywhere. Wherever he looks, he sees a shape coming together. Bees are not the only clever ones, Pranav thinks. We use shapes and patterns for so many things. And so Pranav gets busy drawing his dream house. Red rectangular bricks, black and white square tiles at the entrance, like in his grandmother's house. Who knew simple shapes could make a home for bees, for me, and for you. And so there we have it. That's the story, Pranav the Pattern Detective. Now you can go to the Story Weaver website and read the story on your own. And after that, you can become a pattern detective yourself. All you have to do is put on your detective hat and move around your room, your house, and see what you can find. What are the different shapes? What are the different colors you see of the shapes? Do the shapes come together? Now, I did a little bit of detective work myself and here are some of the things I found in my house. Here's this towel, for example, with the repeating stripe pattern. I found, like Pranav, 
Also, repeating patterns inside this orange, I found repeating patterns in this. Do you know what this is? And even in my favorite cheese grater. Can you see all the patterns? So, like that, I'm sure there are many patterns in your own house. So, after you read the story, it's time for you to be a detective yourself. Have fun being a detective. See you soon. Stay safe.